This will likely be one of my last South Park videos, at least for a while, as I've already said so much about the show, and I want to avoid turning this channel into a South Park only channel. So that was a fucking lie. So I know I said I was going to slow down on the South Park content, but I decided it's probably for the best I stick to what I know for now. Well, anyways, remember that time Kenny died in South Park? No, not that time, or 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 that time. I'm talking about that time that Kenny died for real. And while Kenny's death in South Park is arguably the most iconic running gag in the show's history, there came a time when the bit was getting old and the creators decided it was time to put a stop to it once and for all. So with the intro out of the way, let's get into it. That time, South Park killed Kenny for real. For anyone who somehow isn't aware, Kenny dies a lot in South Park. For the first five seasons of the show, Kenny would die every single episode, with the other boys always acknowledging his death by exclaiming, Oh my god! They killed Kenny! You bastard! Of course, this death was never permanent, as he'd always return in the next episode as if nothing had ever happened. It was one of the show's most well-known jokes, and it instantly became an iconic piece of mainstream media, being referenced in countless other shows and movies over the years. However, as time went on, some people began to get tired of the bit. Namely, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the creators of South Park. Around the end of season 5, they began to see the gag as played out and repetitive. The pressure of coming up with a different way to kill Kenny every single episode didn't help either. Also, around this time in the show, a new character began making its way towards main character status, that of course being Butters. With Butters having more and more screen time, it meant that the writers had to make some changes to the original cast. Initially, the creators actually wanted to kill off Kyle, as they felt he was too similar to Stan. However, I presume they recognized the outrage that would ensue if they had killed off a main character like Kyle for seemingly no reason. And with Kenny, it was relatively easy to justify killing him off, as dying is literally the main trait of his character, and that was starting to get old. So, due to these factors, they decided to put a stop to the running gag once and for all. And at the end of season 5, they released the episode, Kenny Dies. Alive! <coughs> You've had that cough a while, Kenny. You okay? Whoa, whoa, let's go. The episode actually turns out to be an absolute classic episode. I ranked it 51 in my ranking of every episode, but looking back, I think I probably should have placed it higher. This episode masterfully combines horribly sad moments with hilarious moments of black humor that work perfectly thanks to the darkly ironic theme throughout the episode. The episode opens in typical South Park fashion, in an abortion clinic? Is that right? Okay, well. Anyways, it's soon revealed to the boys that Kenny is in the hospital with a degenerative muscle disease. Now, before I continue, let's think back to the many times Kenny has died throughout the show and answer this question. How do the boys typically react to Kenny dying? Let's look at a few clips to sort of get an idea of how they normally react. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastards! What? Who? Who killed him? They did. Who's they? You know, they. They're, they're bastards. Uh <laughs> that was a good one. Alright, so now that we know how they typically react to one of their best friends suffering a brutal death in front of them, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how they react to the news that Kenny's gonna die in this episode. Wait, Kenny's going to die? He might, Kyle. But he's our a friend no this can't happen kenny can't die kenny can't die <laughs> huh and this is where the dark humor of the episode comes from the juxtaposition between how they normally react to kenny dying and how they react now is genius ironically this serious tone throughout the episode is what creates the humor as typically Kenny's death is a pretty insignificant part of the episode and no one takes it seriously in the slightest. This is highlighted throughout the episode as it continues as a sort of medical drama, containing all the emotions and vulnerability that comes with them. And while this is funny in context, it simultaneously creates one of the saddest South Park episodes to date. 
The boys' reactions to finding out Kenny is going to die show the different reactions that people have to grief, and the emotions that they experience are conveyed extremely effectively. Because of this, throughout the entirety of the episode, you're left with sort of conflicting feelings, an odd mixture of comedy and sadness that is seen in very few other pieces of media. The first pieces of media I think of that make you experience similar emotions are BoJack Horseman and any Bo Burnham special. The episode also creates this sense of unsureness, as you're left thinking the whole time, why are they making such a big deal out of this? Surely this doesn't actually mean what I think it means. I mean, Cartman said it best. What, Kenny? He dies all the time! But the seriousness of the episode keeps the thought in the back of your mind. Maybe this really is it. Maybe they really are going to do this. By the end of the episode, Kenny does in fact die, but of course that's to be expected. So that unsure feeling is still left in all the viewers. What happens next, however, I don't think anyone expected. After this episode, fans were anxiously awaiting the release of the next episode. The final episode of season 5 the episode fans hoped would see the return of Kenny, per usual. However, fans were left hanging, as the next episode featured almost solely Butters and his family, with only brief cameos from the boys, excluding Kenny. This meant that fans would have to wait until next season to know for sure whether Kenny was actually dead or not. And while the Butters episode may have seemed like it didn't answer the question, in hindsight, it gave us all the answers we needed, since, as I mentioned before, the reason the creators wanted to get rid of Kenny in the first place is because they liked Butters as a character, and wanted him to move into main character status. So by creating an entire episode solely about Butters, it was sort of their way of introducing Butters as someone we should care about. Sort of the nail in the coffin for Kenny's character. When the new season was finally released and Kenny was nowhere to be seen, this was the confirmation that fans hoped would never come. And as the season continued, they hammered home the point that Kenny was gone for real, with the boys guilt tripping Butters for not being the friend Kenny was, and eventually holding tryouts for a new friend that will replace Kenny. And while this seemed like a conclusive end to Kenny's time on the show, there were some details that hinted at a possible return. For example, Kenny's soul still existed in the show. It was trapped in Cartman's body, after he drank Kenny's ashes thinking it was chocolate milk mix. Yeah, that could be a video on its own, but eventually they traveled to Scotland to meet Chef's parents and have the soul exiled from Cartman's body, where it eventually ended up inside of Rob Schneider making it into a quirky feature length film about Rob Schneider being Kenny. Once again, that could be a video of its own. After that, not much is said about Kenny, and with the season finale only two episodes away, basically all hope of Kenny's return has unfortunately been lost. Well, we've reached the end of season 6, and Kenny still isn't in sight, so I think it's safe to say he's gone for good. While this ended up being a great season, one of my favorites in fact, it just didn't feel the same without our favorite muffled voice. I feel like Kenny's death is a good reminder that nothing is permanent in this world. At any given moment, any of us could lose someone or something that's important to us. It's easy to take life for granted, and I think the creators wanted to remind us the lack of permanence in this universe, and with season 6 winding to an end, I'd like to give one final goodbye to Kenny. We'll never forget you. You'll stay in our hearts forever. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, hey Kenny. Dude, where have you been? <laughs>